a computer keyboard something we use almost every day isn't it interesting that we can replicate one of its function wirelessly using just this tiny module no usb cables no usb dongles just pure bluetooth magic you can use this to navigate through presentations documents or even play games on almost any bluetooth supported device that is your pc mobile phone or even your smart tv in this video we will build our own custom ble based hid keyboard and program it to handle a specific function arrow key navigations namaste and welcome to avinashi tech in our previous video we have covered how you can use your nrfi2840 dongle your own ble hid mouse and we also discussed about a small back story mentioning the journey of hid based devices and its examples do check it out if not already done as that would be the starting point for this example let's jump to vs code and discuss about what changes we need to make from the last example so nothing changes in cmake list file except for the project title of course also the device tree overlay file remains the same as last time with four buttons at pin 0.13 0.15 0.09 and 0.10 in our project configuration file we have updated device information service model to courage in memory of our beloved dog courage the cowardly dog people ugly teeth search 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 and device appearance is set to 0x03c1 or 961 which represents keyboard it is available in assigned numbers document of bluetooth this time our hid report structure would be similar for both boot and a regular report mode we will be having a modifier byte which includes bit field data for caps lock num lock etc then there would be a reserved byte and finally we will have an array of key buttons pressed at a time so six buttons pressed at a time can be updated over hid next thing that is crucial is the report map or hid descriptor we have report size 1 and report count 8 for modifier byte indicating eight data fields with each one bit in length and that is why logical maximum is 1 and minimum is 0 then we have reserved byte and there is also an led report byte with padding which keeps track of key buttons led like that found on caps lock last there is an array for key button press with report size 8 and report count 6 indicating 6 data fields each a byte or 8 bits wide in the regular input report we have updated the structure the rest everything is similar to last time next up in the main source file we start with replacing the macros for key mask this time we will have left right down and up arrows for navigation function of keyboard the advertising part remains same in the send notification function we just need to update modifiers and key press member as reserved remains zero also update mode function has been removed as we won't be needing that in our take action button function we check the buttons recently changed and accordingly send the hid code using send notification function no further changes are required once these changes are made we are ready to build our code and upload it to our dongle module all right it's now hardware time let me get hold of my nrf5840 dongle and some push buttons and label them 
L and R for left and right arrow, followed by T and B for top and bottom arrows, respectively. Let me also get some wires and make the connection. We will be powering the setup using an external power bank. Let's now turn on Bluetooth on our laptop and there it is, Avinashi Tech with keyboard icon. Let's connect. Once we are connected, you can observe 100% battery status. Let me go to PowerPoint presentation and open a downloaded PPT from Utah State University. Let me go full screen. All right. Time to navigate through the slides using left and right buttons. First, we will move using right button. After a few such steps, we will move left. So you see, these arrow keys are helpful for navigating through slides or documents. It's game time. After searching for online games, I'm here. Time to play something. I'll choose Temple Run. Alright, let's play. All right, so this is where I will stop. Let's move to mobile phone after disconnecting from our laptop. You can see the device with a keyword icon next to it. Also, after connection, there is an option in Android to enable or disable on-screen keyboard in presence of a physical keyboard. So I'll keep it turned on. Let's play the old school game, Subway Surfer. Though I wonder why these guys are running on train tracks. So, the keys are working pretty okay, and that would wait in this video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Do check out our other such videos on this channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more contents like this. Signing off.